comments on Twitter polls. Can Jay Wolfman pull it off? Let's kick this game off. Game number two in the AFC South. And it will be the two-time belt winner, Drini, getting the ball first. As it is Peterson taking the kickoff past the 20 to the 21-yard line. As we get to know these players a little better. Start off with Jay Wolf, man. Ethan Wolf, 23 years old from Minneapolis, Minnesota. The Madden 19 Vikings Club runner-up. TD, a slight difference in earnings between these two. Yeah, only 3,000, but I've played in some online leagues with Jay Wolfman. He is a very good player. He hasn't got that chance on the live stage. He told me he's been waiting to play a big player on a big stage. Well, Jay Wolfman, today's your day. The joy of single elimination doesn't matter about past record, just matters about what you do today. His mutt item to watch. Somebody who it is weird to say we haven't seen a lot of Michael Vick at quarterback. Yeah, Mike Vick with fast break, but the fascinating thing, he actually has Randall Cunningham also with fast break. He has two fast break quarterbacks. He said he wanted to bring something completely different, completely unique to catch Drini off guard. Buck wild offense from the Wolfman on the flip side. Someone that needs no introduction. Drini Joka, 21 years old from Washington, D.C., two-time MCS belt winner. And that's what's crazy about Drini, TD, is not only has he been great, he's still very much in the prime of his career. Yeah, the top guy in our sport, and for good reason. There's a reason he's verified on Twitter. I mean, he's done it all at such a young age, 21 years old. He's gonna be, he's gonna be very diverse on offense. You're gonna see him be very balanced. That's what makes him so good. Taking a look at Drini's item to watch in this game against Jay Wolf, man, uh, a guy who had a pretty big game for Kritobin. I'm an Ocho Cinco. Yeah, one of the top three items, in my opinion, right now in Mutt, that Chad Johnson, he's got that slot apprentice ability with him. You'll probably see Drini move him around different uh, formations, different uh, positions on the field. That Chad Johnson could be an X factor in this ballgame. Can Jay Wolfman shock the world? Can Drini become a four-time club champion with three different teams? TD has certainly done that very unique. Yeah, no one else has ever done that. Win with three different teams. Looking to be only the second person besides Pavin so far to get four in a row. An unheard of task. Can he do it? Going up against Jay Wolfman, the most underrated player, the most overlooked player here today. We'll see what happens. It's down in 10. And how about Drini running a quarterback that we haven't seen a ton of? We've seen definitely a lot of those Brett Favre's. We haven't seen a lot of Josh Allen in the last couple of shows. Josh Allen probably has Gunslinger out there. Oh, yeah, definitely has Gunslinger. You're going to see Drini in that Seattle offensive playbook. He likes to mix formations, but he likes to stay in this gun bunch majority of the time. It's going to utilize some different motions and some different route combos. Down through the left side, Todd Heap with the catch. We know not only is Drini one of the top players, TD, he labs with one of the top crews, part of that NFA crew that has already had some success here in the Madden 21 Club Championships. Yeah, the NFA crew guys like Ghost, Prodigy, Rage, IB Strafin, some of the best players in the world. But, you know, when you are a top three player in the world, you know, you got a lot of other guys that will be willing to play with you. So he's been labbing with guys like Boogs, uh, Clef, Trey Thomas, one great user, guys from the EMB crew. So he's been getting reps with some of the best in the world. Why, um, why, why do you lab with user? Oh. Yeah, I don't know if user plays the game. I just threw him in there because he's part of the crew. So okay, just oh. checking. Okay, I was wondering. <laughs> like first and ten, hand off to Bush up the middle, picking up four. Jay Wolfman first defensive drive, forty-eight yard line. So we're Josh Allen, Wyoming Cowboy, stay. Ocho Cinco in motion, screamer off the edge. Good recognition from Drini. That's what Drini does about as well as anybody, recognizing when the pressure, at where it's coming from, and getting rid of the ball quickly. Yeah, Drini's very patient. He has a pretty much a beater for every formation, every defense. Drini's one of the guys that's always in practice mode out of the most competitive players. You know, it used to be a thing more back in the day. Today, you don't see as many guys in practice mode. A lot of guys just kind of play the game, but Drini stays with that mentality. He's always in practice mode, labbing versus the metas. He has a beater on offense for any defense he might see. Allen on third and one. Rolling right. 
And he'll throw it underneath. Diggs catches it, but he's not going to pick up any yards. It's going to be a fourth down and one. And boy, how about an opportunity here for Jay Wolfman to get some momentum. Big opportunity to start for Jay Wolfman. When I talked to him last night, he told me if he can stop the run from Drini, he has a good chance. He wants to force Drini to pass. So far, he's done that. Got him, a, got him into a third down, and now he has him into a fourth down. So if you're Jay Wolfman, you started the game as well as you could have asked for. Fourth and a yard. 21 years old. Already has made $285,000. Playing the game of John Madden football. Allen will hand it off. It's Bush. Oh, it's close, but I think he got it. He did indeed. They're going to give him the 45-yard line. Drini picks up the first down. Yeah, Drini, just a little read option. Gets just enough. Falls forward. And the thing with Drini, like I said, he's very patient. He's going to take what the defense gives him. He's always going to kind of take, take his field goals, too. He's not very he's not very aggressive. He's more of a conservative player. He's not the best offensive player, but he usually does just enough, and he's very well prepared. And you start there, just a little read option. Now he's going to go to the bunch tight end, so mixing up his formations nicely. First and ten. Play action pass for Allen. He might be looking to take a shot, but nobody's open downfield. They'll have to throw this one away. What do you see from Jay Wolfman's defense right now? Yeah, he's mixing it up well. A lot of coverage right there, only rushing uh, three guys. Able to force Drini out of the pocket. He's mixing up his formations as well. You know, we've seen a lot of cover four. Now he's in the 3-3-5, three, three, kind of shifting his linebackers around. So he's trying to make it difficult on Drini, trying to get Drini to pass. Second and ten. Gun bunch. Keep it with Allen on the read option. Oh, Allen gets lit up, but hangs on to the football, picks up two. Oh, boy. If you're Jay Wolfman, that's the break you might have needed. I, I I don't know if Drini's on conservative, but he might think twice because you cannot take those hits with your quarterback. That is a big-time hit from Jay Wolfman. And now he's got Drini in another third and difficult situation. So I've been impressed with Jay Wolfman. He's playing bend but don't break. But on one of these third or fourth downs, you've got to get a turnover. You've got to get off the field. Feel that one through your TV set or computer or mobile phone in a technological world. Third and eight. Allen looks left. I thought he might have had somebody a little deeper down the field. He'll pick up another nine. And how about another fourth and one? Yeah, he might have had that crossing route, but nice little underneath route right there. And Jay Wolfman gets him in another fourth and one. Will Drini go back to the read option here? Your whole playbook's open. He's coming out in that gun bunch. Look for maybe a read option again. Jay Wolfman got to expect that. Got to be ready for the run. And then that forced Drini to pass. We'll see if he cooks up. Johnson in motion on fourth in the yard. Allen dropping back. Pressure off the edge. Quick throw. And there's that man, Todd Heap, with the catch. Give him five. Drini, absolutely methodical. Two fourth down conversions. Todd Heap's been big for him. He's just throwing some baby out routes out of the bunch to the tight end, using this whole first quarter as well. And that's the way Drini wants to play. Very methodical. Slow it down and, and uh, go slowly down the field. Stepping left. He's going to try that crosser. And he's got him. 85. Chad Johnson. Inside the 10 to the 9-yard line, Drini with a first and goal. That's a nice dot right there by Drini. Just a post route out of the slot. That's why you get that Chad Johnson slot apprentice. Put him on a little post route, get to the sideline. Wolfman's uh, user kind of got caught off guard there. Didn't play it uh, back far enough. And Drini takes advantage down to the 9-yard line. It looked like the user almost drifted towards the line of scrimmage and... and it wasn't really throwing that route open. It just became open because the user got distracted. Yeah, I agree. Jay Wolfman kind of just, I don't know what he did with his user. He kind of just got off him. I don't i don't know if he thought Drini wouldn't throw it, but Drini being the patient player waits and then uh, dials it up on the sideline. Well, Drini used that entire first quarter clock, and he's not done yet. First and goal. Handoff. Reggie Bush out of the eye form, fighting through a couple tackles. And he'll pick up two. Second and goal from the seven. Goes with a little I form twin tight end. You see Drini messing with his personnel. So he subs in two tight ends right there, two running backs. He's able to audible down to the I form wing formation. A little stretch outside zone, trying to get to the outside, but Jay Wolfman, some good run defense. Second down and goal. Play clock down under 10. Terry McLaurin in motion. Looks like he's going to go to a little read option. He will hand it to Bush this time, and Bush will pick up two. Step by step goes Drini. Third and goal from the five. Yeah, that's kind of Drini's game, man. I feel like every time I watch him, he's just kind of methodically moving, getting a couple yards here and there, then taking his field goals. The thing with Drini is he always relies on his defense. He feels like he has the best adjustments. So if, um, if you're Jay Wolfman, though, you definitely want to hold him to three. Drini going to go to the air. Big play. 
Allen dropping back. One man rush. Didn't matter. Ted dropped in coverage and Draney found Todd Heat back at the end zone. The two time MCS champion is on the board first. Great, methodical, well planned out drive by Drini. You know, he was clutch when he needed to on a couple third and fourth downs, and he capitalizes on it back of the end zone on a third down. That's a dagger right there for Wolfman, because Wolfman played good defense. You know, he be played bend but don't break, but Drini worked all the way down the field, used all that clock, and able to capitalize on third down. As now in the second quarter, under four minutes to go, we'll finally get to see Jay Wolfman on offense. Look at that dot. Four white jerseys, and Josh Allen puts it where it needs to be. Yeah, beautiful location right there. Back of the end zone, behind the zone defenders. It was a man-to-man -man with a couple zones, and he just beat him on a corner route. Back of the end zone. And here we go for Jay Wolfman. You're going to see him in the run-and-gun offensive playbook. It's one of those alternate playbooks uh, that you can get in Madden 21. And he said, he, you know, he usually runs Seattle playbook, but that's Drini's playbook. And he thinks that Drini has seen him on film running Seattle. So he completely switched his offense about a month ago, is what he told me last night, to this run and gun, a very unique offense. He says he's had some, he has some stuff cooked up. You know, we kind of saw franchise who, you know, said he had some stuff cooked up and it didn't turn out well for him in the Jets Club Championship. So will Jay Wolfman's outcome be different? I can't wait to see what he has on offense. And you look at that tag up above, TD, that TGL tag. Trying to rep the team, get lucky. He's looking to get lucky and make some plays here offensively against Draney. Yeah, you know, labs with guys like Jay Bird, Sixth Sense, Madden Elite, Poison. All very good players on the circuit. Jay Wolfman in grad school, so he doesn't. He's, he says he doesn't take Madden super serious, so this is a great opportunity for him. He's in grad school right now, and he works on the side, so Madden's kind of his third thing, but he has put the time in the last two weeks to get ready for this. That little quarterback run from Fick. I know, I know Jay Bird and the TGL guys are, are, are watching this game right now. I just wonder if Jay Bird's got his helmet on. He's got like a, a kid's baseball helmet that he squeezes into every once in a while. I feel like he thinks it brings him luck. I just think it makes it look awesome. Legal, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. And, and, and when I talk to Jay Wolfman, he said, I want you to shout out the TGL because I need all the luck. I want, I'm want i on team get lucky for a reason. And you see him first play, Nick. He goes to a speed option. I haven't seen a speed option since back in the NCAA football day. NCAA 14, baby. What is, what is going on right now? Drini, and you can hear Drini. I don't know if you guys heard him in the background. He goes, what is going on? Do, does he know something that I don't know? And that's what Jay Wolfman wanted. He wanted to catch Drini completely off guard. Drini said he thought that Wolfman would be in Seattle as well. So Wolfman's plan worked out on that note. Now it's about executing here on the virtual gridiron. He's certainly going to try to keep the two-time belt winner confused. Third down and two. Vic with LaDainian Tomlinson on his left hip. He's going to run it right. He's got a first down and more inside the 35-yard line. And that first down has got to take a little bit of the pressure off of the Wolfman. Nick, I am fired up. We're playing NCAA football out here. It's back. But uh, I'm fired up. He's going with speed option out of Tripp's tight end in the running gun playbook. Like we said, Nick, I haven't seen this in seven years. It's just we, we got to right get now. true NCAA. We can't call anybody by name. We can only call them by number. <laughs> oh, man, I miss those days. Hashtag Where's Chris Fallon? NCAA. <laughs> Kirk Herbstreit? Murphy, where are you, man? <laughs> First and ten. Back to the speed option, the pitch to Tomlinson. Oh, I'm just, I'm, it picks up a couple. NCAA fans, get put a one in the chat if you want NCAA back. Oh man, this is fun to watch. And I thought, I was about to say, he's got it blown up in the backfield. And then he pitches it to the running back. It looked like he might've had a bigger play. And you hear Drini saying, what is going on? Drini completely caught off yeah. guard. You think Drini lab defense for this? <laughs> I, I, one thousand percent. Drini labs for everything. I guarantee he was not thinking about. Oh, okay. I need to lab for speed option. Oh, second and eight. Trips tight end. And he's gonna motion McLaurin over to the right side. So runs it left. Cool. Uh oh, fumble. All right, well. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Mike Vick puts the pigskin on the ground. Drini forced the turnover. Yeah, you nailed it with the quote right there. It was fun while it lasted. A little speed option to get the juices flowing, but 
Drini, you know, he's too prepared. He's too not even prepared. He's just he just adjusts so well. It looks like he figured out within a few plays how to slow down that speed option. And off to Bush, good defense from Jay Wolf, man. One thing, I mean, again, I, I don't know uh, Jay Wolf, man, personally. Haven't really seen him play a lot, but one thing I can notice, uh, dude's a bucket of fun on cam. He, he, no emotion whatsoever, even with the fumble. He, he's even keel. Yeah, very serious, very locked in. And, you know, it's always fun to bring out these little wrinkles and cool things, but, man, you know, sometimes you, you can't get too cute with it. You can't get too cute with it. I think he maybe went to the speed option a little too much. It was a lot of fun. But, you know, something like that, not known. You know, there's a reason why a lot of guys aren't running it. So it's maybe a nice little mix-in. But I want to see Jay Wolfman maybe start to go back to his to his real game plan because Dream looked like he had an answer for it. Oh, oh Allen absolutely <laughs> obliterated again. Oh, baby, what a hit. Yeah, and that's a huge hit because this makes this field goal very difficult. If you notice in the coaching suggestions, it, it wants him to punt. So we'll see if Drini can hit this 56 yards. Not an easy field goal at all. Ball is down. Kick is up. Does it have the leg? Oh. You heard the 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 subtle gong of the crossbar. It is good. 10 nothing. Drini takes the lead. Hits the crossbar and goes backwards. Oh my goodness. It's a game of inches. Drini just hitting the crossbar on it and he, and he's, he gets the three points. Wow. Well, buck 36 in the half, and Jay Wolfman back on offense. I, I'm just excited to know what we're going to see now. That's all I'm excited. I'm just, I, 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 I love watching this. Yeah, it's fun to watch. As you see there, Jay Wolfman was the Vikings club runner-up back in Madden 19, losing to Ivy Strafen, eventual winner. You see him now. He's in the pistol strong formation, Nick, now. What sure. does he have cooked up? Why not? First and ten. Play action. Fick dropping back. Throws it over the middle. It's caught by Vern. He's got a first down to the 38-yard line. By the way, Ivy Strafen, I think, he did pretty well that year in Madden 19. Took home 75K, taking second. Yeah, he beat me in the final eight. So. <laughs> Sorry, did I? Was that touchy? Nah, it's all Your good. former Arizona Cardinals Club champion? Former Arizona Cardinals Club champion. There it is. At least now I'm just the best bun in broadcasting. That's true. Well, the pitch no. there didn't quite work out. Timeout taken oh. by Drini. By the way, Jay Wolfman, no timeouts. Yeah, former's never a good word, by the way. It's always kind of in a negative tense. But mm -hmm. um, No, it, it's it's never good. No. Yeah, you see Jay Wolfman mixing up. And, you know, the bubble gum is in full effect. You know, when you see a lot of these kind of read options, touch passes, play actions, speed options, we usually call that the bubble gum offense in Madden. It looks like he's going back to it here, a little QB power. Off the fake jet sweep, Vic keeps it running right. He's got a couple blockers, takes a big hit out of bounds at the 46. So they're gonna call him inbounds. Even though his entire body landed out of bounds, he's inbounds. <laughs> little jet, uh, jet fake QB power right there. Not a bad call, he, he had some good space, but you don't want to take these hits with the quarterback. But that's the beauty behind his, his roster. You, you know, Mike Vic takes a big hit, gets hurt. You just sub in Randall Cunningham. So he spent all this AP to have two elite running quarterbacks with the fast break ability. 10 nothing. Draney on top, third and two for the Wolfman. McLaurin in motion. 27 seconds left in the half. It looks like he's going to the speed option. Nope. Gun split flex. TD, how often are you run that split flex offense? I don't know what we're seeing out here. And he's motioning out. This is just. <laughs> and he'll throw it left side. There's that non gunslinger throw floating like a feather in the wind. Fourth and two. I mean, you talk about unique. I mean, we, we thought we'd see that from some series, but you know, he makes a little in a little gun bunch, some spread. But Jay Wolfman just going completely outside the box. I mean, we've seen pistol strong, we've seen speed option, we've seen split flex, motioning out receivers. This is about as unique as it gets when it comes to competitive Madden. Southpaw, Michael Vig back in the game. Fourth and two, DK Metcalf. Motion over to the right side. 
Vic. He's going to try to find Vern again, but good defense from Torini. A little behind him. It's first down for Torini. 19 seconds left. He can certainly put more points on the board. Yeah, he definitely can. 19 seconds, one timeout. So you need about 10 yards here. It's not the easiest situation, but definitely manageable. I like that route combo from Wolfman. You know, he had a couple post motion slants with Drini with those two one step aheads on defense. He's got some elite man coverage. Can Drini get into field goal range or possibly more? Allen outside the pocket, and I'll throw this one away. Great defense downfield. I am impressed by the way Jay Wolfman has played defense. Doesn't look. I mean, for somebody who was ranked, what was it, 21st in points allowed, he's certainly played pretty strong defensively. Yeah, he's looked good on defense. I mean, remember, his record on line was only 21 and 15, 58% win percentage. So, but his defense has looked phenomenal right there. Drini trying to go to that corner route uh, with a fade and then the backside drag crosser combo. Jay Wolfman all over it, some great man coverage. 14 seconds remain. Rainey Joka takes the snap. Two-man rush from Wolfman. Good coverage downfield, so he'll take off with Allen, and that may put him in field goal range. It will indeed to the 34-yard line. Drini will take a timeout. If you're Jay Wolfman, listen, your offense has been very fun to watch but hasn't done anything. Drini scored on all three of his possessions, but you're going to go into halftime only down two scores and getting the ball. you got to feel pretty good about yourself. Yeah, he's still hanging around. That was so smart right there by Drini. Uh, good defense by Jay Wolfman, but better awareness by the two-time belt, belt champion. And yeah, to your point, Nick, Jay Wolfman's hanging around. He's playing good defense, but man, on offense, he has got to get something going if he wants to stay in this ballgame. Maybe that QB power, the, the, the QB power out of, off the fake jet sweep, that was the, sort of the one run that actually we saw get some yardage. We'll see if he goes back to it as he'll... Return this to the 21-yard line, and that will take us to halftime. The two-time belt winner looking to become a four-time club champion. Drini up 13 to nothing over NCAA 14's Jay Wolfman, running what might be one of those fun offenses I have gotten the pleasure to watch. Full half of action yet to come. And guys, a reminder that following... The AFC South Club Finals. It's another episode of Derwin James vs. the World presented by Oakley. This week, Derwin takes on Cowboys rookie cornerback Trayvon Dix. You won't want to miss this one. That's tonight, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Question is, TD, set the line. Derwin James minus 49 and a half. Who are you taking? Is Derwin covering the 49 and a half? Oh, man. It's minus 49. Yeah, I'll still take Derwin. Honestly, he's just too good. Well, Drini has had quite the career here in the game of Madden. Looking back, last year, the Jaguars Club Championship. What a battle he had against Jay himself, but it was just too much. Drini, in the end, he was able to, to pull out the win, become a three-time club champion with three different teams. Yeah, Jay himself hung around a little bit there, but in the end, Drini was too much. And man, the, the first player ever to win a club championship with three different teams, phenomenal. 13 and nothing at the half. Yeah, and TD, Jay Wolfman, not out of this game. He does have to find some sort of offense. The question is, with no gunslinger, can he pass the ball effectively, or is he going to have to stay with these runs to put points on the board? Yeah, that's the question. He's going to get the ball first here. He's going to have to eventually pass the ball at least a little bit. I know he wants to stick to this ground game, but at some point you're going to have to air it out. All right, I'm confused. That was a standard handoff. That was not an option. There's no jet sweep, no QB run. He just handed the ball off. I didn't know that was in this playbook. We're back to Madden football. No more NCAA. And you <laughs> see he has Ladanian Tomlinson in the backfield as well, who we haven't seen at all in any of these weeks of the tournament. So everything he's doing just outside the box. 63 players here in the club finals are playing Madden. One player is playing the yard. <laughs> that is Jay Wolfman. Second and seven. It's just... Vic right down the middle. It parted like the Red Sea. He'll pick up five, 30 yards. And he's got a, he's got this running gun playbook. They got speed options in all types of formations. You saw him in though? the trips tight end doing it. Now he's in the tray open formation, speed option. Just a straight blast up the middle, basically. I kind of like it right there. See if Drini counters it, what he has, what he can do to adjust to it. Looks like he's gonna go to split flex, power O. 30 yard. Give it to LT, let him run. He'll pick up the first down, breaks a tackle. Oh, LT, one of the best 
most elusive and powerful running backs. A, a mix of speed and size showing it off there. Yeah, and these play these runs aren't bad at all. Like they're pretty effective. It's just there's very we haven't seen them, and then he gets himself into situations where it's like third and long, and, and you got to be able to pass. But he's had a couple. He's had some success on a couple of these. Um, I like to see him go back to that power O. I think this power O can beat this uh, four four D line set defense. Hands it to Tomlinson right up the middle and gets that nice tackle animation. Falling forward, picking up three. If he can keep picking up three on these runs, this drive could. It could go into Madden 22. <laughs> yeah, you just can't get any negative plays, you know. Get a couple yards here and there, go to those power rows, those hatback bases, mix in the options. But I want to see him pass a little bit, even if you just throw some underneath stuff, a couple drags, slants. Pistol trips tight end. Gives it to Saquon Barkley. Pick it up two. How do you scheme for this deal, this <laughs> offense? Well, you hear Drini saying, what is going on? You know, he's never seen anything like this. This is really a blast from the past. Now he's going back to these these strong powers, these pistol counters. I haven't seen these since, like, Madden 15, 16. Buck sweep years. <laughs> Third and six. And it's going to be Vic. Oh, hit him with the spin cycle, Vic! Uh, kicks up five. It's going to be fourth and short. But what a spin move on Drini. That was nasty. That was super nasty. I thought it was blown up in the backfield, and he just pulls the, the spin out of nowhere. Puts himself now in a manageable fourth and inches. But if you're Jay Wolfman, this might be your ball game. You've got to convert to stay alive. Did, Ra did Randall Cunningham just hurdle for a first down? Was that Randall Cunningham hurdling for a first down? I, I, he was a yard behind the line to gain and hit him with a little prance and found his way to a first down yardage. Jay Wolf's man stick work has looked nice. A little spin, now a little a little jurtle. Goes to the right, cuts it back to the left, falls forward. And he's got these mobile quarterbacks looking like this college offense. Going back to the QB power here. He had success with this earlier. And Vic will pick up three. You saw a little chin scratch there from Drini. That is to say the least for Drini. As he's sitting there going, what do I do? Is is scheming for a quarterback run centric uh, offense different than scheming for a running back run centric offense? Uh, without a doubt, because even if you, you, you put your safeties in spies, you overly commit, it's still not the same. It's not going to really slow it down. You can get to the outsides. It's very difficult to defend because you could still pass out of these formations as well. So, you know, Drini doing a good job, though. He really is. He's handling it well. He's adjusting on the fly. He's doing as good as you can ask for. And what the thing you need to do if you're Drini is, is get him into these third and short, third and long potentially, and make him pass. If, you, if you're Drini, you need to make Jay Wolfman pass. I feel like I'm watching early 2010s Ohio State when Braxton Miller was a quarterback. That's what I feel like I'm watching. Before they made him a wide receiver. When he still had a shoulder. He was fun to watch. Third and four. Trying to pass. Okay. Listen, I don't, I don't like to criticize too much because I'm in the booth and they're playing for five thousand dollars. But there were a lot of, of dark jerseys around that, that curl out in the middle. It was not open. Yeah, it was a weird rut right there. I don't know if it was a drag or curl, but it looked like he stopped running. And that's what Jay Wolfman was upset about. Uh, it's just when Jay Wolfman's had to pass, man, it's looked rough, really rough. And fourth and four, you know, he might stay to the ground game here. I think you need to pass. But he might run one of those gimmick runs, but looks like he's going to pass out of the pistol trips. I'll bring. Oh, he's going to use one of those second half timeouts. Killer. Killer for Jay Wolfman looking for an upset bid. He's used almost this entire third quarter and needs to pick up four yards. Yeah, if you're Jay Wolfman, man, you're really you're hanging around, but at some point here, a big play has to happen. You've got to get the momentum going your way, fourth and four. Play action, Vic. Stepping right, he might have been able to what? take off there. He's going to have to throw it late. Oh, oh, he finds Ocho Cinco to the 28-yard line. Look at him shocked he found the receiver. He had so much room to run with Mike Vick for about five seconds. I don't know what he was waiting for. And then he throws the worst read of all time, and he converts. <laughs> that from the former oh, Arizona oh, Cardinals club oh. champion. Hey, he said, 
I want to shout out TGL. I, I'm on team Get Lucky. I need the fluke. And he got it right there on a big play. <laughs> get lucky, get lucky, get lucky. 13 nothing. Drini on top. Jay Wolfman in business. Fours up in the chat. Back to the speed option, hits a plant the foot in the That's ground. It, that right might have been the best it. stick work we've seen on a run play. <laughs> it's Michael Vick to the 14 yard line. Yeah, I'm impressed with his stick work. Jay Wolfman, you know, he's kind of looks like he's in the backfield a lot of these runs, and then he, he makes something out of it with his stick work on the controller, does it again there, goes back to it, Greeny exactly. all over it. Even though he's got the, uh, what is it, double escape artist. Uh, it seems Vic's certainly better to run this scheme with than Cunningham. Yeah, I would agree. And you see Vic is his like primary, primarily ball carrier, but pitch it there. One more time, oh. was that word? <laughs> was that one more time, Tyler? Primary, primarily. Primary. I can't get my words up. Anemone. <laughs> Biscetti. The bubblegum offense has got me all, <laughs> all worked up over here. <laughs> Broken Tyler Davis. Apply within. New co-host needed. Third and 16. First time we've really seen Jay Wolfman behind the sticks, though, uh, especially in the third down. Yeah, this is a tough spot for him. He's he's not looked good passing the ball. This is the situation for Drini that you wanted because if, if, if Jay Wolfman doesn't get any yardage here, I mean, you kind of – you can't take the three, though. I don't think in any situation because you need those two touchdowns. You're down to two timeouts. It's the fourth quarter. I think this is four down territory no matter what. You can't settle for three. Oh. Double move on the outside, crosser, a curl. Out of the pistol strong, it's Cunningham on third and 16, rolling left. Looking for some sort of bounce, some sort of anything. He'll take off with Cunningham, get to the 15 yard line. Cuts it down to a fourth and 10, fourth in the ball game. Yeah, this is your ball game. And I don't think Jay Wolfman has escape artists. I think he only has fast break because if he had escape artists, he could be able to take off because Drini doesn't have a spy out there. He's giving him a lot of space, and he could have got more yards there if he ran. But this is your ball game. Fourth and ten, he's going to the gun-tight formation. Wide receiver cross. Look for a crossing row, maybe a running back wheel. Something. He's got to get ten yards. Fourth and ten. for your, Could be your ball game. Two-man rush from Drini. All sorts of time looking for the route bounce now. Oh. Throw left side, tight throw into right. coverage. Oh, but Drini is able to step up, play some defense, and yeah, now he takes uh, over up two scores late in the game. Those are 14 and a half, so I'm, I'm going to try to get three. Yeah, just a very odd game, Nick, to say the least. I mean, this is we've had all types of strange things going on here. And it's just the story of the game is Jay Wolfman, when he needed to pass, just had nothing ready to beat Drini's defense. And Drini, you know, it seems like he hasn't even had the ball much. It's just been all Wolfman on offense. Drini now going to use all this clock. Here's the thing, though. These, these are the games that I feel like are the best, especially in competitive men. Because, listen, we, there's a, there is a meta. You see a lot of trips. You see a lot of bunch. You see eye form, whatever. It's really refreshing to get one of these games where it's like, this guy's running something totally different. And it's it's even if it doesn't work, it's at least entertaining to call. I agree. Oh, yeah. Just be a terrible pass right there. I agree, though. Yeah. We were fired up seeing that speed option. I mean, Jay Wolfman bringing this out. I guess I could, very I interesting that. strategy. I know his his, his plan was to get Drini, Drini off guard. He did exactly that. I think he's caught in the nation off guard. But he just hasn't executed, I think, the way he wanted to. He's played phenomenal defense. I mean, he's done just enough on defense. It's just been his offense that's holding him back. Pick, 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 pick. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> what the? <laughs> how is that man? Jay Wolfman, man? how many times have you uttered, oh, my God? Okay. That's kind of a bad <sighs> thing. That could have been the break he needed, though. He dropped the Come pick on, right man. there. I mean, it's pretty similar. I don't think he would have gained a lot of yards on the pick, so either way, Drini punts. So, oh, Jay Wolfman still alive here. Was, There's two time modes. He's ahead of the no two-minute warning. How the hell did that But he's going to get it moving quickly. I don't know if you saw that, but Madden Bull winning quarterback Tressway with a, with a nice punt there. The legend. Big shout-out to Tressway. Tress Big shout-out to Tressway. The legend. First and ten. I want to see him run a triple option. That's what I want to see. Fake the handoff. Go to the, the speed option. Ah, oh, there we go. Drini with some pressure off the edge. Jackson gets the sack. I think first sack of the game for Drini. Yeah, and, you know, we've seen a speed option. We've seen a, 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 a 
triple option. We've seen a, a strong power, and now we're seeing a play action carried out. I haven't seen a play action actually carried out in years as well. Usually, you know, you cancel the play action. So Jay Wolfman just pulling it all out here in the Jaguars Club Championship. Down goes Cunningham. By the way, breaking news when it feels like breaking. I just I just pulled up Twitter on my phone. Some some series just retired on Twitter. All I'm saying is if he quits, that fourteen and a half is going to get. That's great. That's covered. 38 to 8. I mean, but uh, see, Madden players always say they're going to quit and retire. It never happens. They always find their way back. Some serious is a, a phenomenal player. I think we'll see him back. You know, he's talented enough to make runs. So I, Jaybird's I, you know. retired four times in the last two weeks. <laughs> exactly. Jaybird's he's retired. Like Brett, he's the Brett Favre of Madden. Jaybird's retired 15 times in the last two years. <laughs> Fourth and 20. I cannot wait to talk to Drady after this and go, so your thoughts on facing the speed option. <laughs> what, what'd, you, what'd you lab for that? Always Fourth and 20. Oh. Cunningham in trouble. And that should end the game. Drini will become a four-time club champion with three different three. teams. He'll go back-to-back -back with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And no surprise going into the January tie, he's going to be one of the favorites. Yeah, probably the favorite going in. I mean, only Pavin, the other player so far, to win four club championships in a row. Four club championships in a row. So difficult to do. Drini does it. He's done it with three different teams. Now he's the Jaguars back-to-back -back champion. He wanted to shout out True Boy. True Boy, we miss you. He did this for True Boy, man. And it's just awesome to see Drini representing for True Boy. And he's going to be a four-time club champion, man. Just phenomenal performance. And look at Drini. You know, he never looks great on offense. He really doesn't. You know, he kind of just methodically moves, kicks his field goals. But he always is spectacular on defense. And he does just enough to get the job done. Yeah, he's like the polar opposite of the 818 guys. The, the, the Kivs and the Wesleys who always look so... Locked in offensively. Drini just finds ways to win, lets his defense do the talking. His kick is up, it is good, 16 to nothing. Yeah, and that's such an uh, uh, underrated thing in Madden. You know, people don't even realize, you know, you can have all the talent in the world, but if you can't, if you don't know how to win games, that's the thing. You know, you see a lot of guys, they kind of, they have a lead, they blow it at the end, they get nervous in crunch time. Drini never gets nervous. He's always cool, calm, collected. He's always confident. He always believes he's going to win. And he sometimes he wins three nothing. Sometimes he wins twenty seven to three. At the end of the day, he always gets the job done. That's why he's second all time in winnings. That's why he's got two belts, and that's why he's one of the best to ever do it. Oh, Jay Wolfman, he's gonna get the ball back. Listen, <laughs> still a two score game. You never know. Does he have a, a laser beam? Has, does he have one in his back pocket? Or maybe maybe out of the Gun Trio Falcon. Maybe he'll break out that formation. Single back dice slot. What do we got? I want to see that triple option you were talking about. You should just, you should just bring it out at this point. Well, the Heisman formation. Second and ten. And, yeah, that's not it. That was not the dot. Javon Curse with the sack. Yeah, and for Jay Wolfman, you know, he wanted this big game. He was ready for this moment. I think he, uh, you know, I think he just got too cute with it. He wanted to think outside the box way too much, trying to catch Drini off guard. It's not a bad plan, but I just think, you know, you got to stick to your game plan somewhat. I think he just got too unorthodox, and he didn't have a, the, enough passing plays when he needed him the most. Well, zeros are on the clock. Drini is the back-to-back -back Jaguars club champion, and he is now a four-time club champ with three different teams. He takes down Jay Wolfman 16 to nothing. Uh, Ty, as we said, this was a, a quintessential Drini game, sort of mucking it up defensively, getting some stops, and doing just enough to win the game. And he's going to be on to that final 32 and a favorite to win a, another belt, his third belt in January. Yeah, the top guy in our sport goes on to become a four time club champion, four years in a row, just insane. And uh, congratulations to Drini. Yeah, and for Jay Wolfman, I mean, 
it was fun. Listen, it was fun to watch. I don't hate the game plan. I actually enjoy the the idea of I'd rather bring something that maybe he hasn't seen before than bring the offense that he's running and knows how to stop. Yeah, I think the plan was okay. He just overthought it. He got too cute, like I said. You got to stick to what got you to the dance. I know he ran Seattle playbook uh, on the online qualifiers to get here. So, you know, I would like to see him incorporate that a little bit more instead of just running the bubblegum all game. So the plan wasn't bad. He just didn't execute it as well as he wanted to. Well, let us bring in the now four-time club champion back-to-back -back with the Jacksonville Jaguars, Draney, with yet another win, a 16 to nothing shutout over Jay Wolfman. Uh, Drini, congratulations. Uh, I mean, let's call a spade a spade here. You had to face a pretty unique offense. Uh, question one, did you lab for it? Question two, what was your thought when you first saw it on the field? Uh, in double elimination, everyone that played Jay Wolfman online uh, all said that he ran wing slot offset and went to eye tight, strong wing, you know, those strong formations. And, you know, that's what I was lab for. That's what I lab for. Uh, I ended up like I paused the game to look at his abilities and he had two fast break quarterbacks. So I was like, like, what in the world am I about to play? And, uh, you know, I've never played a fast break quarterback, you know, throughout the whole year. So this is my first time ever. And uh, so I definitely didn't lab against it. And I was just labbing in game. The first time he put like he ran that first play. I was like, oh, God, that run actually looks scary. And then I started spreading my D line and the run wasn't as good anymore. People were coming in free. And from there on, I slowed down. But. You know, a couple of plays went my way. And I feel like, uh, you know, he had Michael Vick and he fumbled while I had Josh Allen. I got hit stick twice and I didn't fumble. So I got pretty fortunate in that, you know, area. Drini, congrats, man. Four in a row. I know you've, you're doing this for True Boy. You're doing it for your family. Talk about what it means to be a four-time club champion and a back-to-back -back Jaguars club champion. Yeah, I mean, you. Uh, I told you yesterday, man, like, it's it's all about legacy from here on out. Like, I... You know, there's a reason why Pavin is the other four-time champion, why Joke is trying to become that other four-time champion. It's, like, super hard to do. It's, like, you have to be super consistent, and the game changes throughout the year, like, every single year, drastically, every single year. It's a different game. So to adapt like that, you know, it's just you have to be an insane Madden player, and, you know, that's the reason why I feel like Pavin and Joke are there. Well, Drini, congratulations, man. It is always a pleasure to call your games. Cannot wait to see what you will do in January at the club championship as the Jaguars club champion. Boy, this game was a fun one to call. It was, though.